Hey guys, and welcome back to my page. Today, we're going to be walking through my North Philly row homes. This is on a 40 by 30 lot in Willow Creek. Um, it features six playable row homes and one abandoned building. But this is basically what it looks like. To the left, there's a park and to the right is a public pool. Now, growing up, I would spend some summers in North Philly at my great grandmother's house with my cousins and my sister, and we would walk around the corner to the public pool sometimes. So it was in the 90s. We had a good time. Uh, so I decided to place a public pool over here. It also has a basketball court. This lot is available for download from J Plays a lot and I'll feature it in the screen, but definitely check out his builds. He has a lot of urban and realistic builds that I downloaded. Um, so be sure to check his Patreon out. In my current save, I have a Walgreens over there and to the left are my Northeast Philly row homes. Now the Northeast Philly row homes are available on my Patreon as well for free. So be sure to check that out. I really enjoy building things based off of my childhood. So on one side of the street, there is the Northeast Philly homes. And on the other side is going to be the North Philadelphia home. So let's just go into the tour. All right, we're gonna start off with the corner store. Of course, if I'm building a block in Philly, we have to include a corner store. So this is mine. On top of the corner store is a one bedroom apartment. Um, Outside, there's a fire hydrant. Of course, during the summer, we would have block parties. The block captain would open up the fire hydrant and we would all gather in front of it and get, you know, in the water. It was so much fun. So, of course, I included one. There it goes. Some trash, some hopscotch. North Philly streets are really tight. So, there's typically parking only to one side of the street. So, I have a row of cars on one side of the street. Um, but this is my corner store. Most of the items inside um, are deco items. So let's just go inside the store and I'll show you what it looks like. I had to delete the grill because my Sims would cook there constantly or there will be dirty dishes there and I would always have to leave the house to come and clean it up. So I deleted this little grill, but um, there's some trash, you know, it's just a typical corner store in North Philadelphia. I do have a little camera. My sim self is just standing there right now and I'll show you so I can show you guys how it properly functions. So basically you come inside to the right. I have the ATM machine. Um, I like to just go to a corner store and buy a cake if it's my sim's birthday. So this little pink box is from RVSN. You can buy a cake directly from that box. Uh, here is the basemental drugs. Uh, cigarette machine for rolling papers and whatnot and let me change the view so now you can see the little cashier over there there's some deco liquor bottles uh, the lottery signs you know just filled the fridge with some things I believe this I, I think this chip rack is interactive um, a little TV ice cream machine I mean ice cream freezer you know just a typical corner store now there's two ways to make this function you can either use this register right here which is from insemnia and how it works is you can bring your sim here and you just select it click go grocery shopping and there is where you can buy you know random items so i really enjoy using this mod along with my corner stores so it can be more functional um, we can have her buy some candy and these are the things that pop up so it's good for your your child sims after school they can go to the corner store buy themselves some you know sour patch kids and be on their way and then it's right there right here in her inventory and this is what it looks like when you eat it oh she's upset because she is ashy sorry all right, so that's how that works. Another way you can make this more functional if you are more realistic, you can go into build mode and use the eyedropper and select whatever it is you wanna buy. So let's say I wanna clutter up my uh, kitchen counter. I would go to the corner store um, and select whatever item I wanted to buy and it'll deduct the money just as if you were buying it. You know, it doesn't remove the item from the corner store. So if you copy the item and place it directly in you know your house then that's another way to use the items from the corner store 
but basically how I sectioned this off in my current save is I made this whole lot a residential rental this room right here is a shared space but back here it's private to the owner of this particular apartment so if you want your sims to come buy food from this corner store you can just you know make it bigger and take out this wall at a food stall where you can um, hire a vendor and you can just you know sell food from this corner store if you want to um, but when you go upstairs this is the one bedroom um, apartment the storyline for this sim is going to be an elder couple either an elderly couple or just one one elderly sim and i want them to technically own the corner store downstairs and i want them to have a bunch of cats so i want the cats to kind of roam free in the corner store you know sit on the bread but for up here i just want i just want an elderly sim what i'll probably have them do is be the landlord of this block if i want to play as an active landlord um and they'll you know be in charge of maintaining the rest of the homes and whatnot but it's just a one bedroom home it's nothing fancy here's the bathroom and here is the one bedroom so you can fit a full bed a dresser you know it's a good size to be one bedroom but let's go over to the next house okay so to the right of the corner store is this two bedroom home it's the only one without a porch every other house does have an outdoor porch the storyline for this house is going to be a single mom with about five children with some adopted this is going to be the party house, the trap house, you know, um, a spot where all the teen parties take place because the mom is going to be a stripper and she, of course, works nights. So I will give you a quick tour of what it looks like. So what I'll probably have to end up doing is creating a bedroom over here. Um, since I want five children, they're not all going to fit in a two bedroom. So I'll do some editing in here um, to add an additional bedroom. Or I think I can adjust upstairs to add the third bedroom. But moving on, this home is going to have a mom and her teen daughter initially living here. So for the third house, the storyline will be most likely a single mom with a teen daughter who ends up getting pregnant, um, either by someone in high school or somebody who lives on the block. I uh, haven't decided, but um, that's what I'll probably do there. This is a three bedroom home, so I'll show you quickly what it looks like on the inside. So the last house on the corner is the abandoned house. This house is actually accessible to your sins. So if you do decide to set this as a residential rental, then other sims can go inside. This door is still accessible. You can walk right through it. Um, so what I suggest you do is lock the doors if you want this building to be, you know, unused. This is the side of the building. We have a broken couch, bunch of garbage lining up the side of the house. You have the vines that go up 
you are more than welcome to clean up this building. Um, if you play as the landlord and you want to list this as a property, you can definitely flip it. But I specifically wanted this house to look broken down and trashed out just so my teen sims can kind of go in and out, um, smoke in there. You know, I think it's more interesting when everything is not so perfect. So now let's check out the houses across the street. So the storyline for this corner house is I'm going to put a female sim who likes to paint and she's an artist. She'll create a club for the local youth to learn how to paint. So I have the murals on the side of the building for her to paint and you know beautify the neighborhood. But this abandoned, this abandoned yard or space next door to her house. Um, her goal is to clean it up and create a community garden for her and the kids. So she's super excited to get involved with the local youth and kind of teach them some ways to take care of their neighborhood. Next to the abandoned yard is a father whose wife is currently in jail for selling drugs. <laughs> Be sure to check out my prison tutorial to see how I actively play with jails in my game. Uh, but they share three sons and a dog. The dad is in a gang and is also a drug dealer. Um, so they have a teen son who wants to be an athlete and twin boys currently in middle school. This is also a three bedroom home. And next door to that house is our last home, which could be for an elder. Or I believe I currently have my married sims living there um, and they plan on having a bunch of children too so it is a three bedroom you do have to be creative if you have a large family and you got to make the most of your space but that's why I like to play the sims in smaller urban areas just so I can be just so we can feel more lived in so this is the whole build this is pretty much it there is some graffiti on the side i could replace it with um one of those murals and they can paint this side as well here's the corner store and then let me give you a shot of the entire block from each side here's one end of the street and here is the other and that is it. This build will be available to the public this Friday on my Patreon, so be sure to check it out. Until then, I will see you on my next video.